everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's episode covers building a new exhaust for my 1979 Toyota pickup. Let's get going. Bringing in here, we're uh, pulling this manifold. You haven't missed much. This guy, not OEM, just slammed on there by the PO, and of course it's stuck now, so we're gonna just give it the old slicey slicey. Easy enough. Okay, chill. Oh, that's nasty. Huh. This guy's just laying in there. Hopefully that uh, thread in the block's not stripped. Feels pretty good, actually. She must have just wobbled on out of there. This may have been part of the awful vibration I was hearing that and the loose heat shield. Nice too, because now I can check, check that for size. Ah! Oh, that one came with the stud. Oh yeah, she's coming. Got you underneath here. And uh, as you can see, this exhaust is just cobbled together over the years of previous owners on top of hack jobs, on top of guys that think they can weld. Little rebar hanger action back in there too. Uh, all the hardware different sizes and metric and standard and good God. So instead of messing with all that, I'm going to take my favorite universal wrench here and we're just going to slice this somewhere in this big open area, wherever it'll fit. I've already got the manifold unbolted, so I think once we do that I can slide it off up there and kind of snake this long section out. We can move on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Perfect. Broke the blade. Come on. It's always about a 50-50 if you can pull one of these blades out of the cut. Let's see. They shall call him Excalibur. Ooh, pretty easy. Round two. Fight. A new blade would have been nice the first time. Off camera, I got all the studs cleaned up, the surface of the head where the manifold bolt's on. We're gonna go ahead and slip it on there with the new gasket. Go gasket first. I'm gonna try to be out of the shot here. Go ahead and uh, lightly pre-assemble that collector. That'll be easier to do uh, out of the truck versus underneath it. Oh, that's gonna be sweet. We're just gonna snug these down for now. Back when you gotta damn near be a contortionist to get to. Just going for a nice equal torque across the board here. Awesome. Looks like everything fits great. Next item on the chopping block is cleaning up this OEM mount. It mounts off the ear of the transmission, kind of in this orientation. And I gotta find some new hardware. This is uh, the correct size bolt, but it's been spaced out with a nut and all sorts of nastiness. Let me get this stuff cleaned up and I'll bring you back. That'll be good enough for what we got going right now. My Technicolor Creeper is working out pretty good. Uh, this bracket's important because that's the first mounting location for the exhaust. And it's pretty close to the end of that collector. So we're going to want this in place before we start fitting up the, the rest of the exhaust. It's funny how over the years uh, these bell housing bolts never tend to get put back in, rattle out, that kind of thing. I think on a long enough timeline, a transmission will unbolt itself from an engine. Working in tight quarters like this is uh, certainly made worse by the camera feeding away also. 
Hope you guys are framed up good. If not, we'll just cut this whole section out. All right, with that in place, you can see our uh, first piece of tubing will clamp right in there like the factory. We'll need to angle this collector somewhat so we can kind of shoot. We need a, looks like a couple of degrees there. So let's go look at our tubing, see what we've got. All right, here's our box of tubing. Straight from China, but we're being a little cheap here. I think one of these guys is gonna be our ticket. Let's take this underneath and hold it up, see what it looks like. All right, this first line here is what I would uh, consider the start of the bend. And I just eyeballed that. And then this line through the bend is what we're gonna cut. We started a little bit wider than uh, what we were thinking. I think uh, likely will be half of this when we're done, but I like to go big and then kind of sneak up on things. Shoo. All right, test fit. <laughs> you know, sometimes I even surprise myself. Still got a little bit of fine tuning to do, but I'm happy with that. Nice tight gap all the way around. That'll be a great starting point. I picked up this muffler. It's uh, 23 inches overall length. It's gonna be a big upgrade over the previous glass pack. And now I'm gonna take you underneath. I'll show you where this goes. Into my basement office. This is the factory location for the muffler and I've got the original hanger cleaned up and it rides in this rubber mount. One of these days I'm gonna get a lift and this kind of thing will be way easier. The next plan of action is gonna get this muffler hung in about that position and then we'll go ahead and make our transition from our uh, straight piece here up into the muffler. All right, I've got things mocked up here. I think this is the orientation we're gonna end up in. Right, we grab our hanger up here nicely and we just are going to clear our shop there. Also right here is where the parking brake cable runs and it's got a heat shield from the factory which is nice. Also we've got about a hand width there so I think we're fine as far as clearance and airflow. I'm going to get the welder set up now and we will tack this hanger on. So I'm going to let us get rid of some of these jack stands and hopefully hold things in place where we want them. Safety squints. Struggling. All right, now the trick is to get it uh, off of that hanger so we can fully weld it without breaking that tack. I'm gonna extricate myself from underneath here and we will go ahead and uh, weld on that hanger completely. The next piece of the puzzle will be uh, going from here where we left off under this cross member with the factory hangers here and into the inlet side of our muffler. All right, off camera I've done some fitting here. Let me see if I can point the camera and then pull things where they're going to go. So this is our uh, looking forward. We just added a straight section and we've got this nice little offset 45 here sweeps up and then into the muffler which is nice safety squints hey we did it plenty of clearance there we're not gonna be rattling against the cross member which will be nice we got a nice Smooth flowing with the double 45. 
Now we'll uh, put a couple more tacks on this stuff and we'll move on to the exit side. <laughs> no ground, come on Jake, get it together. That is coming together sweet. All right, we're looking here at the uh, factory exit location. And I went ahead and removed this hanger. There's a, a rubber isolator you can't see just in this location behind the mud flap. And you can see our straight section here coming out of our exit side of our muffler. I'm gonna hold this 90 up in a position where we can grab that rubber hanger and we're just marking for overall length here. We've got our mark here and I'll go ahead and make that cut. Here's a pro tip you probably weren't expecting. You take a flat edge of paper or in this case a uh, file folder. You can wrap these round objects and when the edge lines up you've got a good square line. There you go, nice square cut. That's pretty sweet. And we do want just a little bit of downward slope so that any condensation will drain out the end. Off camera I built, bent up this little uh, round bar hanger that will go in our rubber mount, like so. We've got our shorty piece in there with our 90. And I was gonna originally do a pie cut kind of turned down tip we just so happen to have this uh, 90 that I took some angle out of. We got, I don't know, 10 degrees or so of turn down. That'll slip right on the end. And all of that tucks nicely right here behind the mud flap. Let's get all this stuff tacked together. Then we'll remove this exhaust, get it fully welded, reinstall it, and start her up for the first time. All right, and again, we, we want just the slightest bit of downward angle so any condensate drains out the end. Okay, now to see if we can get this thing out of here without breaking any of those tack welds. Here's a look at the complete exhaust out of the truck. It was uh, a struggle to get this out. Really, I need a, you know, a two or three bolt flange with a joint in it somewhere. Uh, but we'll add that later, because I don't have one. I'm ready to get this thing done. All right, we got everything welded up here. I'm gonna slowly pan down everything. These MIG welds aren't anything to write home about, but it's just a thin gauge exhaust, so not trying to win any beauty contest here. It was an absolute struggle to get this thing out from underneath the truck without that flange like I was talking about and so this 90 for the tailpipe we're gonna weld in the truck and I'll have to deal with uh, getting it out in the future we've given these uh, these welds a chance to cool off I'm gonna go through and hit them with a little stripe of paint on each one that'll uh, give us a little more longevity in the system Okay. Installation's reverse of uh, removal, right?
Oh yeah, looking good. Oh, that explains it. I put a square peg in a round hole. All right. Come on. Sweet. Here's the hanger arrangement I went with. Just some uh, 3 8 mile steel catching the factory rubber isolators. Should be plenty. Sweet. I like it. What do you think, bud? What do you think, bud? Just vibrating on the rubbers there, which is good. Let's see if we got a leak at the collector here. No, everything seems to be good. We need to let this get up to operating temperature and then we'll go back through and check all our header bolts. And that should be it. Did I just run over this? Shoot! I don't think so.